Hi everyone, now everyone is interested in how to bind Jump Throw and CS2 after Valve update. Now it makes no sense because with a bind to Jump Throw and CS2, you will just be kicked out of the game and you will get a ban. Is this risk necessary? I highly doubt it. Jump Throw is currently banned only on official Valve servers, but who knows, maybe it will be banned on Faceit. However, the Jump Throw bind is replaced by the good old skill of quick button presses. Now we will explain how to throw grenades without binds. It's not all bad. First of all, Valve has increased the time for the jump throw to work, and even added a sound to tell you that it's successful. The sound, if anything, is our in-game character sighing. Secondly, binds haven't really gone anywhere. Just now you will have to try to press not one button at a time as before, but two. Now some people advise to make some additional binds, but believe me, they are not necessary. Everything works perfectly well. No matter how hard I try to release the keys with a big pause, I still jump throw. Also, if you still want to practice, I recommend you to download a map from Steam Workshop. Its name is Mirage Utility. So do not worry, everything is not so terrible. If this video was useful for you, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. 